Three Keto Myths to Stop Believing Today Keto diets have been the target of a lot of praise and criticism. As a result, there are many misconceptions and myths about the diet that may be holding you back from experiencing the full benefits of going keto. In this tutorial, I'm going to tell you three keto myths to stop believing today. Let's get started. Myth number one. You can keep the weight off while going on and off keto. The keto diet has boomed in such popularity that people often jump on board without doing any research. As a result, they only eat keto occasionally and eat a regular diet most of the time. This causes them to seesaw back and forth on their diet. When they do this, they don't experience all of the keto's benefits and rarely lose a lot of weight. Naturally, these people wonder why they aren't keeping the weight off and blame it on the keto diet. To experience the benefits of the keto diet, you have to commit to sticking to the diet. If you go on and off keto, you will experience none of the benefits. You can only have sustained ketosis by eating a keto diet every day. Myth number two. Everyone needs the same amount of carbs. When most people start with their keto diet, they determine their carbohydrate intake based on recommendations they found online. Typically, those on a keto diet only consume 20 to 50 grams of carbs a day. Those just starting often eat closer to 20 grams to kickstart their body into ketosis. Although you need to restrict your carbs to be on a keto diet, the exact number of grams you consume will depend on your body and special factors. For example, if you have a high physical activity level, you'll need to consume more carbohydrates than someone who lives a sedentary lifestyle. Additionally, some people have genetic issues that cause them to struggle using fat for energy. These people also need to consume higher carbohydrates than others. Instead of constricting your carbohydrate intake based on something you read online, limit them in a way so that way your body is enhanced. This means that you may need to consume more or less carbohydrates than what other people recommend. Myth number three. You can eat as much bacon and butter as you want. Everyone knows that keto diets are based on fat. This means that you can eat bacon, steak, and butter while still remaining on this diet. However, you should not be frying up pounds and pounds of bacon every single day. You can't just eat any fat you want and expect to live a healthy lifestyle. The best way to remain healthy while eating a high-fat diet is to limit saturated fats. Foods like bacon and sausage are high in saturated fats, which means you should limit them. Instead, opt for heart-healthy unsaturated fats. Foods like avocados and olive oil are great places to get unsaturated fats. These foods are also healthy and tasty but they are better for your overall health. Additionally, do not avoid vegetables and fruits completely. Even though vegetables and fruits are high in carbohydrates, you need them for vitamins, antioxidants, and fiber. Look for vegetables and fruits like zucchini, peppers, and berries that are great for your body, but lower in carbohydrates. Final thoughts. Now that you know the three biggest misconceptions to stop believing about a keto diet, you can start your keto diet with knowledge and confidence. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz.